show you how to knit honeycomb cables. I'll show you how to knit them row by row alongside a knitting chart. You can find the knitting chart on my website janejamesknitwear.com and if this video is helpful please leave a like and a comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel or follow me on Instagram at janejamesknitwear. Honeycomb is one of my favourite cable patterns. Visually it's quite stunning and it gives a very thick and squishy knit. If you heard that sneeze it's one of my dogs. So um, it's a very squishy knit, but it's also a very easy pattern. It's visually quite stunning, it's quite a lot, but it's actually a very easy uh, pattern. It's a repeat of 8 rows and 8 stitches. You only need to know 2 cables, the C4F and a C4B. If you don't know how to knit those, I have a tutorial on my channel showing you how to do so. I'll drop a link in the YouTube description box. And you actually only, for the entire effect that it gives, you only have to do a cable row every fourth row. So for every one cable row you do, you do just three rows in stockinette stitch. So the knitting will progress quite quickly. So here's the chart for the honeycomb cables. You can either pause this video and take a screenshot, or you can just uh, go to my website and there you can find the image. I'll put a link in the description box below so you can easily find it. So to set up, we're going to start with two rows in stocking knit. The first one is on the right side and the second uh, stocking knit row is on the wrong side. So we're just going to quickly knit those. In the chart, we're now at row three, which is the first cable row. All you're going to do alongside the entire row is alternate knitting C4Bs and C4S. You start with a C4B. So I've already done one C4B and one C4F and you just continue doing that down the road. Now your C4F. If you want a refresher on how to knit these cables, as I said previously, I have a tutorial on my channel and it also shows you how to knit these cables with or without a cable needle. I always do without. So and you just continue that alongside the road. Finished the first cable row, and as you can see, they're all alternated. So now all I have to do is knit three rows in stockinette. Et voila! According to the chart, we're now at row seven, which is the second cable row. You're going to do the same thing actually as in the previous cable row, which is alternating C4B cables and C4F cables, only this time you're going to start with a C4F. C4B so, and there you have it, you can already see the first comb shaping. If you kind of lost in your rows and you've forgotten which kind of cable you now have to knit, what I always do is I just look down. I just look at the cable underneath the stitches I'm about to knit. And just you have to knit the opposite one. So if this one is leaning towards the right, you now have to knit a cable that leans towards the left. So.
If you want to end your honeycomb pattern, you can knit another row in stockinette one or two. If you're going to continue knitting, just keep knitting three rows of stockinette and then a cable row, always making sure to alternate the cables so you never knit the same cable above one another. And then you can easily get this lovely squishy thick effect. I hope this video was helpful. So as I said, if it was, please give me a like and a comment. This really helps me out. And see you next time. Bye.